So the next year I tried for the golf and that's what they had the machine. Hi guys, Jacob Hardy here. Today I'm with Malachi Starks and Miles Thornton. First off, we want to thank the Mark for allowing us to film here. And I want to introduce Malachi and Miles into their new show. That's what's up, man. How y'all doing? I'm Miles Thornton. Nice to finally be in front of you guys. I've been trying to get this thing going for a little minute. And I'm joined here with the Malachi Starks. The Malachi Starks. <laughs> and if you don't know about Malachi Starks, you're going to find out. Well, I'm pretty sure everybody knows about you. No, no, no. Or whatnot. But, uh, you know, our show, well, we just want to, you know, keep it real, keep it 100. Mm -hmm. I think. Uh, we want to focus less about football and focus more on just life. You know, who we are, yeah. life, just things outside of football, behind the helmet. You know, we're, we're real people, and I think you got some interesting right. topics and stuff to talk about. So um, let's get right into it, bro. Should we, should we tell them about how we? Yeah, let's tell this. them about how we met. Okay, go, yeah. ahead, go ahead, go ahead. You want me to go? Go ahead, please. All right, bet. Uh, we first what? We first met. We came in together. Uh -huh. All three of us came right. in together, actually. Yeah. Same um, class. And so we came in together and. Uh, Bruh, I can't remember how we met, dog. Like, I can't remember exactly how we met. I just remember, like, I was like, yo, Malachi is so weird. <laughs> yo, I was like, he's cool. That's he's wild, cool, man. but, like, you know, like. Malachi you, is, uh, like, weird. Yeah, like, <laughs> like low-key, kind of like. Cause different. Everybody, I mean, everybody. Everybody different in their own ways. Let's, yeah. let's go ahead yeah, a lot of different ways. But everybody probably know you as, like, the freshman phenom. And, and you know, everybody probably think Malachi that cool guy that right. you know when you go talk to him he probably don't play too much malachi is like <laughs> off off, <laughs> off is so wild missing yeah. up here bro like but um off is wild i think that's why we connected though because we both got so yeah you off too <laughs> and so are you and i'm so, not off y'all and so <laughs> yeah okay. and so um after that we just hit it off we uh we start, you know, talking here and there, mm -hmm. brushing past each other, locker and whatnot, playing around at practice and stuff. And then um, one day in the training room, we sitting there talking. We talking about what? Um, marriage. We talking about marriage. Talking about, marriage. Talking about dating. We're talking about just just life stuff. And I forgot what trainer it was. Who Shout was out it? Ashley. Shout Ashley. out Ashley. She was the one who had the she idea. She the one that put this in motion. <laughs> Ashley was like, yo. Y'all are started, really entertaining. Y'all should, like, start, a should podcast. start a podcast. Like, I would really listen to that. And is we well, that was like our freshman year. Yeah. And so we've been trying to start a podcast, have a little show going for almost a whole year now. And and so you uh, said freshman year, like, we're not sophomores. I mean, but that's still, like, <laughs> still a year ago. I mean, but, yeah, but he said our freshman year. But like, that's a lot of time of us trying to get this yeah. done. Yeah. And now we're finally. It's been a long time with, coming is what we were trying to say. Yeah. I always had a beef with people like that. In high school, I always hated the sophomores who like always love to beat up on the freshmen. Like, <laughs> like oh yeah, you know them stupid freshmen. Be like, bro, you just like me. Like, oh, you, you just got here, bro. You like to be like, oh, I remember you, you, when I was a freshman. Me, like, you was a freshman two seconds ago. <laughs> <laughs> and so uh, that's how we got started. And you know, we 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 started off in the living room. <laughs> <laughs> we tried to start off in the living room. Didn't work. Didn't work. <laughs> so, I had to get the uh, the what was it? The tarp over yeah, the, the window. Yeah, the tarp over the window for the light. <laughs> yeah. So it's been a long time coming, but we glad we finally got it. It's a passion project. Yeah, passion project, yeah. man. So um, we just gonna have fun with it. We are gonna be real with it. Talk to y'all. You know, connect with the people. Try to get as, as many people involved in this, right. and, and, and hopefully it take off, man. You know what I'm saying, like. I want to I want to be at a game and somebody be like, you that guy from that podcast. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, yeah, bro, that is me. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, man. So how, how did you get started with all this? So really, I used to mess with Makai because everybody yeah. knows I'm on the Muse show. Facts. Well, Jacob and Muse show now. But <laughs> <laughs> shameless plug. <laughs> but um, one day I used to mess with him all the time. Be like, when are you going to have me on the show? When are you going to have me on the show? He'd be like, I'm never letting you on my show. <laughs> jokingly but then one day i guess they missed a guess <laughs> <laughs> no that's funny because i remember y'all was fighting in the locker room <laughs> and you were like bro your show is terrible <laughs> and he's like you did not keep doing on the show and he's like you'll never be on the show and then the next day i look on my phone it's him and Maka, <laughs> and i'm like y'all was just arguing so basically there was one of our teammates couldn't make it last mm -hmm. second so makai calls me i'm in my dorm just chilling on the game with my roommate and he calls me he goes Bro, I need a guess in 20 minutes. <laughs> I was like, what? He's like, I'm shooting at Alumni Cookie, though. Can you come do it? I was like, 
do it and be able to mess with Makai and say I saved his show. <laughs> not do it. Don't get anything out so, of it. So the real question is, is it your show or is it Makai's show? Be honest now. No, yeah, don't hey, don't hold be that. Be honest. This, 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 right, this so the no anybody who show. knows don't me, that. anybody who knows me knows the arrogance in me wants to say it's my show. <laughs> but out of pure respect for my boy and the fact that it's undeniably his show he started first, I'm just an addition to his great show. So I'm not going to say it's my show. So okay. when the camera's it's cut, not. is it still his show or is it? When the camera's cut, that's for the fans to decide. <laughs> <laughs> that's for the fans to decide on that one, man, time. But, um... Nah, uh, but we basically just got into it. We had that episode, and we just clicked. You know, like you said, me and Makai, we go at it all the yeah. time in the locker room, joke yeah, around. Right. So that's my guy. And then uh, a couple months later, they were looking for a co-host, and they decided that me and Makai would be great partners together. And yeah. we filmed our first show last week, plan to shoot our next one next weekend after the Auburn game, and it's been going well. Right. But, you know, this ain't about my show. This is about y'all. So, you know, the fans want to see y'all's takes, y'all's ideas, yeah. y'all's personalities. So let's start with the game yesterday, Georgia okay. versus UAB. What was y'all's thoughts, Malachi? I was like, you, you was in it, so. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you got some thoughts about it. Like, I do, I do. I mean, I mean, it was a good game, late game, 7.30. Yeah. Uh, love the red lights, man. Right. Bro, atmosphere uh, was it's crazy. crazy. It's right. crazy. The fans always show up. They do. Best fans. Best fans around around the league in my opinion that's just no i might be a little biased but yeah. you feel me yeah, you um <laughs> I mean, but the atmosphere is crazy right. uh the team is is heading in the right direction i, I yeah. think we're going in the right direction i really like where we're going um i mean but it was awesome i had the best feeling ever i haven't played a 7:30 game since high school right um so just to be under those like the lights but i'm telling you the lights the, the lights, lights are just though? different bro. they're just different so i yeah, mean it was it was it was just awesome. See all those people out there, have my family there, be right. out there with y'all boys, just having fun. I, mean, I think was, when everybody pulls out their flashlights all at the same time, that's, what, that's when that, it hits you. You see that wave of just people. That's bro, when it hits you. It's a different feeling. Yeah, bro. Like, you when you really you, you really feel like like dog. Am I in like a movie right now? Like, <laughs> yeah, right. Am I really living this for real? Right. And like that's one thing I think about all the time is like we're really in like Kirby's goat era. You know what I mean? Like he's. You saw it, uh, he, this is his, what, 100th game? Uh, and he got his 85th, 85th win. win. So he has, like, the best record right now mm -hmm. with that. Like, I was like, yo, we're really, like. A part of that. A part of that. Yeah, it's like, crazy. It's crazy. History, bro. <laughs> yeah, it's history. So, um, but how does it feel, like, playing in it? You know what I mean? Because that's one thing I, I haven't got. Me and haven't Jacob got haven't got to do right. yet. So how you, how you feel when you get, you know, step out there and whatnot, the lights flashing, you see everybody excited for you and whatnot? Um. I don't, even, I don't even know how to explain it, bro. Yeah. Like, the feeling is just different. Because I've been dreaming about this since I was a kid. Since a kid. Right. Like, I'm, I'm literally right from down the road. Like, my house is 30 minutes from yeah. here. No doubt. From the campus. So, I mean, like, just stepping out there and, like, seeing everybody and knowing that, like, something I want to do since I was little, I'm mm -hmm. doing it. And I'm doing it with the people that I love every day. Right. I mean, it's just, like. I love you too, Malachi. I appreciate that, man. <laughs> I appreciate that. Yeah, bro, we love you. <laughs> so, uh. <laughs> It's just uh, it's just a feeling that like I don't even know how to describe, bro. It's like an adrenaline that like I've never gotten before. Yeah, I think like even being on the sideline, you know what I mean? Just just knowing that all of these people are here to see you just, guys and see how you guys perform and whatnot. Like it's an immense amount of pressure, like crazy. Yeah. But bro. at the same time, it's like the most. It's the most humbling and the most exciting thing yeah, like, you could ever experience, bro. Like, I agree. You at the top. You at the top of the top, and you playing a game that you you know you love playing when you was a little kid. Right. Like like you said, I've been dreaming about this since I was a little kid. And to to suit up every every Saturday and go out there, bro. It's like dang, it's life different. Is, it's, life is crazy, man. It gives you a different perspective on things, bro. Man. Like like it really does. Like some people, you realize that like some people just like living out their dreams, and other people right. are. Right aren't doing what they wanted to do since they were a little kid. So like nice. it gives you like a different type of gratitude towards like the game. Yeah. And it makes the it makes them team rounds a little more bearable. <laughs> Cause they hard. Don't even get See, me started, I wanna go man. back to what you said about that we're in Kirby's history. Yeah. Cause I think about that all the time. See I'm a joking dude. So yeah. like when I think back to like, damn, Coach Kirby, back to back national championship, we looking for a third I'm thinking about when I'm an adult, right? Yeah. When I'm, like, my football days are over. I'm 35, 40. Either I'm back home or I'm wherever I'm living at at the time. And I'm like, 
I'm in the barber shop. <laughs> oh, bro. We know and you, you know where lie. I'm going. I was about to say, we know you about to lie. If I was on the national championship team with Kirby Smart and the Georgia Bulldogs during what, 2021 yeah. to 2020, however long we keep this run going, hopefully forever. Oh, I'm going to get my stand in the barber <laughs> shop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, I caught two touchdowns. I caught three. I caught, I caught four, four touchdowns. <laughs> One time, uh, you know, they needed me to play quarterback. You feel me? Because <laughs> so I went in. Yeah, y'all, y'all do know before y'all go any farther, there's a thing called the internet. Oh yeah, but they can just they can just look it up. How many people? <laughs> how many dudes you've been with in the barbershop that just blatantly lie and you call them? <laughs> you knew they was lying. <laughs> you know they lying. Like, oh god! You know they lying. Like you really know they lying. But you don't check them. Yeah, the yeah, barbershop. Yeah. You get to be whoever you want. Yeah, you get to lie. And guess what? When I go there, I'm a lie. <laughs> I'm alive. I'm alive. That's, I'm alive. That's why. Quarterback. Hopefully, I hope you get caught. Hopefully it's going to be so crazy, though, that it's going to almost seem like I'm lying. But then they're going to be like, do we really know? But hopefully, like, our career, oh, yeah, you don't have out. to lie. It pans out. <laughs> like, it pans out the way you don't have but to lie. But the first lie, year, bro. I'm definitely going to say, yeah, I was quarterback. They needed me. Like, bro, they didn't play me because, like, you They know, didn't play me because I was too tired from I was, working and yeah, practice. Yeah, you feel me? Coach Kirby <laughs> just saved me on Saturdays. You see what I'm saying? That's what I'm thinking of going with. <laughs> speaking, speaking of this, that, I, got a, I got a question. So, yeah. like, how do y'all feel about social media, like, in today's society? Oh, bro. That's a good question, bro. That's a deep question. Man, I think, like, I think it's done a lot of good, you know what I mean, for, like, uh-huh. opportunities and um, just getting, like you, like, you could meet somebody from the other side of the world that you would have never have had the right. chance to meet. Right. But at the same time, it's a lot of, like, like it's a lot of bad out there too. Mm-hmm, like right. a lot of stuff that you didn't need to see, you didn't want to see, <laughs> that you see every day. Right. Like the MP, you the NPC trend on TikTok. The uh, bro, that one blew my mind. Uh, bro. You talking about the? Uh, what's like, like, the thanks for the roses. Thing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah like when people like act like robots. Bro, you know, bro. Oh, like it's weird. And like they're making money. Money, money, <laughs> money. <laughs> See, I'm not gonna lie. I'm about to I'm stop not a playing TikToker. football. I'm not a like, TikToker. Right. I can't do it. <laughs> Something about like doing a podcast where I'm talking to people. That's cool. Like, I can, yeah. I can, but, like sitting in front of a camera and like acting like I'm talking to people who really aren't there. Oh, like no. I can't do it. <laughs> but you know how much money them. <laughs> that's what I'm saying, bro. Like <laughs> for me to just sit there and do this with my arms for 20 minutes and just yo, know, thanks for the roses. Touchdown, do like whatever it is. <laughs> Touchdown. <laughs> like they're making bank for 20 minutes. It really just, I think social media's made us stupid. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no Because the fact that somebody can get paid off doing this yeah. for 30 minutes or, you know, whatever hip dance they want to do for 10 right. seconds and you can really make bank. I mean, I'm not going to knock anybody's hustle, but, like, I can also see where it's gone negative. Oh, and then okay. kind of touching on what I just said about the barbershop, now people have this urge to live a life or try to, you know, that's oh, yeah, not yeah, theirs. That's yeah, not try theirs, to, you know, yeah. show a life oh, that's God. not theirs, uh-huh. you know, whether it's taking these fancy trips and like, yeah, yeah you might be in Miami, but <laughs> you're not in Coral Gables. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> you're not next to Rick Ross. <laughs> or like the ones that break the bank to do that. Or, you yeah, know what I mean? Like, like, just to put on for their social media. I, like, I think that's like so much pressure coming from like other people, like looking yeah. at other people's oh, yeah, social yeah, yeah, media yeah. and be like, you have to pretend to be something because you see somebody yeah, you else doing something. That, you what's feel that me? Uh, saying that uh, comparison is the thief of joy? Thief of joy? Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's real. I think that's, that, real, that's just amplified by like, you see somebody else, you know, being successful or doing something and you're just like, bro, you know, like, why am I not doing why it? Why am my life not yeah. going? But at the same time, it's like, everybody got their own time. Everybody got their own time. Right. And I think it's that's different. the one thing that, you know, we've definitely learned with this football thing. Exactly. Being I was about to where say we the same are. Thing. It's like everybody has their own everybody time. Everybody has a different time, yeah. right? Yeah. It, like, it really puts into perspective, like, all right, I need to, like, I need to relax. I'm I need good. to relax. Let me I'm chill good. out. Like, you know, I'm still, I'm at the top of the top. So I'm, right. You know what I mean? So, but definitely, like, I was sitting here thinking, like, dog. I did all them team runs and I could have just not. <laughs> I could have just not. I could have just not. <laughs> so, yeah, bro. But like, what do you, what do you think about like how many? Don't you got a TikTok? No, nah, I got one, but I don't post none. I, just, I was about to say I've never, I've nah, never nah, had a see, TikTok. I, I don't. I'm like you. I can't. I can't do it, bro. Well, he's just ugly. Well, that's, why that's fair. That's fair. <laughs> You're not the most attractive person in the world. Why are they lying? So I get it. Like, yeah, why are like, they lying? I get it. 
Clearly, like, I'm not on camera helping out the show for now. Anyway, <laughs> let's just say it. Let's just say it. Let's, let's, just say it. let's like, go past that. Let's all say what we're really thinking. We was like Makai. We needed a guest last minute. <laughs> he couldn't make it, he so we like, grabbed you. <laughs> um, anyway, I'm, my, I'm my takes. In. My takes on it. I feel like, like y'all said, I feel like I can go both ways. Yeah. Right. I think it's. I think it's gotten more to the point where it's like, it's probably shifted more towards the, like the negative part of oh, things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but it's also about like how you look at it, because I feel like people who like feel like they want to start a business or they like want to do something for themselves and like make something out of themselves, social media is a great platform to do it. Because right. like you like you have an endless amount of options and ways to get it done. Yeah. But like I feel like it also comes with so much pressure. And if you like 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 if you're comparing yourself to other people, kind of going back to what you yeah. said, I feel like it just creates like insecurities and like I feel like it's just a way to like it's kind of headed now because right. like because like me like I'm just like me yeah like whenever I have if I'm blessed to have a family of my own I'm not giving my son a phone until he's like bro I like think- I didn't even What's the age? So like, See, you stuttered <laughs> on the age. That's a discussion within okay. itself. I was about to say. Okay. Let me hear y'all answer first. My mom ain't give me a phone until I was in the eighth grade. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, bro. Okay, I was oh trapping on my iPad. Well. My first <laughs> phone. Pack, yeah, I, I think my first phone. <laughs> I think my first phone was fourth grade. I'm not gonna lie. What? I'm dead serious. White iPhone 4. Sure, I, had a, I had a Blackberry. Y'all remember Blackberry? I did have a Blackberry. Uh-huh. Bro. I had a Blackberry. I went to like, like a little phone. With a little dial on. Yeah, yeah, oh, bro. Did you play yeah. the little game with the I slide? The, and the little the, brick? Yeah. <laughs> yes, bro. Yes, bro. Oh, wow, we're old. <laughs> yeah. I'm, not, I'm, not giving, I'm not giving my kid a phone until age of 10. 10? Because you really don't need one. You don't need one. I'd the say only 10. thing you need is to get in contact with, with me. me, that's it. I would say 10's a good age. Yeah. 10's a good age. Yeah, that's not pushing it. Bro. See now, like was, we said about social media, Yeah. giving them a phone is one thing. What age are you going to allow your kids to now have social media? That's, that's tough. That's tough. I don't and know. See, the thing is, I feel, like, I feel like also, if you give them a phone and you don't give them access like, to social media, kind of like you're being strict, when they get it, they're just going to wild out. Right. Yeah, yeah that's true. So I, think, I feel like there has to be like a balance to where like you and, give it yeah. and like you set like limitations, but like you don't do it too much to where it's like, you know what I'm saying? Like the strict yeah. parent, yeah, you don't want to yeah. be that strict parent, so then they just go wild out. And kids now aren't dumb. Like, yeah, yeah they know I mean, like, they'll, anything, do it, they'll do it behind your back. They've evolved with this technology. Yes, like, bro. They bro. know better than the adults most times. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> yeah, yeah. They do. bro, I had to, so I had this class, it's called Edit, and I had oh. to go over to the elementary school mm. and like do technology stuff with the kids. Bro, I'm talking, huh? like, I'm thinking I'm gonna have to go in there and like, <laughs> Oh, you know, click the home button and it'll take it. Bro, one kid was like, yo, yo, I got this. I got this. <laughs> he started going. I was go. like, <laughs> yeah. no, my bad. My yeah, bad, my bad. He, he was like, bro, I, you know, export your video right here, drop it to the safe. I was like, <laughs> I was like, bro, you're like, like eight, bro. I'm like, what? I was like, how are you? He's like, bro, I'm failing this class. Yeah, I'm failing. <laughs> I'm like, how do you know this, bro? <laughs> So these kids with this technology, bro, it's crazy. But that's the other thing is like it's taking over their mind, like it's all it is. Oh, I, so I went, I went to LA, bro, and I went out to eat with my dad. Yeah, right. And we went to eat like this Mexican restaurant. It was awesome. I don't even know the name, but I sat down and like we were sitting by the water, so I could like I was looking at the water and the boats and stuff. Like it was just like a, you know, what I'm saying, you know, regular. Yeah, yeah, being a regular person. You feel me? <laughs> <laughs> so I sat down and I like across the table. There's this girl who's probably seven and her mom she has the ipad she has headphones yeah. her mom is on her phone with her airpods in like so like if it's so like if we're sitting at a table yeah. you're you're the mom and i'm the, I'm the girl right i got you like i'm yeah thank you so we sat there for an hour <laughs> an hour and 20 minutes me and my dad was just talking yeah. we just love to talk so we sat there for an hour and 20 minutes i i didn't see the little girl the mom talk once like, and if the little girl would have left the table, her mom wouldn't have known. Her mom or, or vice versa. If her mom would have left the table, the little girl wouldn't have known. And I'm like, it shouldn't, like, I get technology is cool and stuff, but it shouldn't yeah. be like that. Like, shouldn't cut off, go like, enjoy human interaction. Talk. Yeah, like, That's what I think with, with technology is, like, as a society, like, we've lost our sense of, like, you know, being a human. Yeah, that's fair. Right? Like, you know, people, 
now people like you know a lot more anxieties come up because people are scared to like be themselves exactly from behind the screen exactly you know everybody has confidence when they're doing this but then now i tell you to come talk on a podcast yeah talk do you know one-on-one people can't do it or they struggle with it so like it's just kind of weird like you know what are the pros and cons of technology evolving and then you know maybe like society kind of devolving yeah i don't know we say all that to say go outside <laughs> Go touch some grass. Remember Go. play sixty? <laughs> yeah. Go some of y'all kids need play ninety. Bring that back. You remember when Nickelodeon was shut yeah, off? Yeah, yeah. Play ninety. Y'all yeah. need a whole bunch. Bring that back. Go, Go play manhunt. <laughs> no cap. Play manhunt. Go play football. Do Go play something. tag. Like <laughs> play throw them up, bust them up. Is that what they they call it? That I can't say what we called it back. Home. <laughs> <laughs> but I know. But I know what you're. You know what I'm talking about. about. I, okay. I had a comment. Let me keep it to myself. You had a comment. What you? Call I know what you're talking about. Yeah. Now. Okay. So both of y'all's name was crazy for it. I was just throwing my bus about. I know exactly the game you're talking about, and I'm just gonna say <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, yes, I know the game. Yes, I know the game. I know exactly what you're talking about. <laughs> but um, yeah. So you know, college football. That's what we do. What did y'all think of the games yesterday? Oh man, a lot of a lot of interesting games. Um, a lot of interesting outcomes too. Right. Uh, I think everybody's seen the Colorado Oregon mm-hmm. game. You know what I mean? Um. I think it was, I mean, to me, I like the the competitiveness. You right. know what I mean? I think like that's the one thing that's been missing a lot from you know football now is like, and I think that's what I, I credit Dion a lot for like how he's kind of bringing back that I that agree. swag to I football. Yeah. Like, you you know, regardless of the outcome of the game, you know, we all saw the game, you know, whatnot, but like. They're having fun. They are. And I think that's what, like, ain't that the like they're, they're doing it their way. They're doing it their way. We got to worry about way. what people think. Yeah. yeah, like, we got a Georgia way, and we're going to win our way, you know, right. discipline, hard work, and that's what works for us. Yeah. But, like, that doesn't work for this school and that school. Yeah. So I kind of like that they're winning. You know, they took a loss yesterday, but, you know, they're going to bounce back. You yeah. know, it's not going to tank them. Right. And, and credit Oregon, though, but Oregon shoot. played a great game. Shout out yeah, Coach man. Lanning. I was about to say, Oregon <laughs> played a really good game. They, they They played solid offense, solid defense. They just they just beat them that day. But, I mean, like, the what I enjoyed was them both wanting to actually, you know, have a good game. Right. They wanted – they were really into yeah, it. They were invested in playing. And I think that that's what's important. Like, at the end of the day, bro, we're playing a game. Playing a game, right? You know, little kids play this game. We're right. playing a game, so like, go out there, have a good time, man. And you only get to do this once. You know, you get your four or five years, however long you play college football, and then it's over. It's over. Man. See, because like, we're student athletes. Yeah. Malik, I will tell you, we have a sports uh, management class, <laughs> and every week I make the most bold claims on <laughs> on teams. So I'm a Cowboys fan, so every week, Cowboys by 50. <laughs> Whatever it is, Cowboys by 50. Bro, we, were, we were having a debate in class the other day yeah. about, um, about NFL teams and, like, who do you think is going to be, like, the biggest upset or whatever. And uh, I don't even know. I don't even – I wasn't paying attention, if I'm being honest. Yeah. But all I hear is Jacob talking about the Cowboys, and then some dude across the room – it starts arguing with Jacob about how the Cowboys are going to be awful. And he's, and he's like, bro, what do you know about football? <laughs> I like, took it personally. He, he took it personally. I was like, I know he stood up. And the dude, he stood up and the dude was like, what do you know about the Cowboys? And I, said, I said, no way they're doing this in the middle of the class. I was mad because I was like, I'm saying my stuff. I'm saying my stuff with facts. Like, I've watched the Cowboys since I've been a fetus. Right. So, <laughs> so, crazy, wow. bro. so like I'm sitting there and I'm like, yeah, you know, Michael Parsons, CD Lamb, Dak Prescott, Tony Powell. Why you do that? <laughs> Why you do that? <laughs> Whoever else, right? And I'm just like, and then this kid just goes, Yeah, but you know, not touching the Eagles. I'm like, man, what do you know? <laughs> what are you talking about? Like what do you know about my Cowboys. That's what I'm saying. Like, not even, you know, I'm not gonna say I know more than him because I play football. That's not it. But you don't know more about the Cowboys than I do. <laughs> Since Ain't no way. Since a fetus. You feel what I'm saying? <laughs> but um I say that to say this week my big claim was Colorado over Oregon. No disrespect to Oregon. I was just big on the hype train. I was, you know, Shadur, all that. <laughs> Shadur. Shadur, I was all that. So hey, I'm thinking. I don't care what nobody say. That's Shadur hard. <laughs> Shadur That's tough. Hard. That's so tough. I'm yelling, Colorado. And my teacher literally said, I'm going to come in Monday. <laughs> I can't wait. I'm going to come in Monday. Wait. And when Oregon beats them, 
I hope you know I'm gonna let you have it. He so gonna professor, walk I'm gonna see you tomorrow, and I know you're gonna let me have it. <laughs> he gonna walk in and go, <laughs> Shinder. <laughs> no, nah, but you know, uh, there were other good games. Uh, Florida State, Clemson, that yeah. went down to the wire. Mm-hmm. It did. I mean, and then we got to talk Ohio State, Notre, Notre Dame. Dame. Oh man, I was watching that like in the middle, like because you know how in the game they play like in the middle the of our game. Yeah, you look up. So I'm looking up. I look back. I'm like, whoa. <laughs> Like it, I, it was like fourth quarter. They had like I don't know how many seconds left, but they had got it down to like the two yard right. line. It was like seven seconds. Yeah, they had like got that. down to two yard line. I was like, no way, like yeah. no way the game going end like this. Right. And then they cut it off because our game was back yeah. going. Well, I got I so focused and I was like, oh damn. Like, damn. <laughs> I was like, we're playing the game. Like, like Malachi, <laughs> cover three. You're like, oh damn. <laughs> <laughs> oh my fault. <laughs> my fault, coach. My fault. I was hot though. I was, I was like, bro, cut the game back on. <laughs> <laughs> People you asking for snacks? <laughs> yeah, I was like, bro. <laughs> <laughs> but no, nah, that's crazy. But, you know, Florida State, like I said, Florida State, Clemson, that mm-hmm. went down to the wire. I mean, they're definitely going to talk about the time management at the end of that mm-hmm. game. Cause, I mean, Facts. Clemson had a chance to possibly make a move for at least a field goal. Kind of just decided to go into overtime. Mm-hmm. And, you know, some fans were upset about that. And then mm-hmm. it kind of led to Florida State popping out with a victory. Yeah. Right. Um, and then there were some other games. Back well, to the uh, Ohio State thing. You saw they only had ten players on the field. Yes, two back to back plays. Back-to-back plays. Two plays. Two back- you know how much last, we would run for that? Oh my god! Do you know how bad we would run? Oh my god! The last, the last two plays. Last two players. plays. Kirby would be so mad. <laughs> so mad, bro. <laughs> and he would find a way to like. See, but like when you get moments like that, I think that's like, that's like that kind of go back to like our team like traits was like right. composure yeah. like because yeah, 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 like yeah. moments like that are very heated and like they're very like hectic it's so, like, intense yeah bro. it's intense for everyone yeah, sometimes like, it, can, it can happen to anyone though yeah. sometimes oh. fans think like man why did he why didn't he go on the field like yeah i didn't mean to not go on yeah, the field. Yeah, no, i wasn't trying to like, i didn't I mean, today, be like, I'm I not didn't mean go. to fumble i didn't mean to <laughs> miss <laughs> the game when he tackled yeah, like, stuff happens it can happen to anyone bro so i mean like it's it's just a crazy situation yeah. That's the game we play, though, man. Yeah, it's it's unpredictable. You never know what's going to happen. Nothing. That's why everybody likes it. Yeah, bro. That's the point of the game. That's why it's the best. No doubt. No doubt. <laughs> That's why we play. <laughs> but I want to thank y'all for allowing us to share our time with y'all. Um, again, Malachi and Miles are going to be starting their new show here on TPO. Yes, sir. It's going to be weekly, so you guys tune in. And next week, me and Makai will be back on. Go dogs. Yes, sir. I just want to say I appreciate you guys for stopping by. Please come check us out. You know, keep watching, tuning in. We're going to have some more episodes for y'all, more great content coming out. Y'all go check out my boy Jacob's show as well. And that's all I got. Make sure y'all tune in. We're going to have a good time. We'd love to connect with y'all. If y'all have any questions, go ahead and shout them out. Put them, in the, put them under the video. We'll get back to y'all. Right. Uh, we just here to have a good time and just, just talk. Again, tune into the Players' Lounge weekly. And we, again, want to thank the Mark for allowing us to have this space. Go thank dogs. You.